this video is to guide you through the steps involved in preparing and launching the Davit Launch life rafts after the abandoned ship signal has been given. For further guidance, this information can be found in the training manual in your cabins and in notices throughout the vessel. Firstly, remove all rail chains. Remove the cover from the ladder and check to see if the ladder is clear of any obstructions before lowering it over the side. This is an escape ladder for any people who may have been left behind. If evacuating the vessel in the dark, angle the floodlight to best advantage. The next step is to prepare the davit. Unhook the remote brake release ring from its hook and ensure that the wire does not become fouled throughout the operation. Pull down on the offload release hook cocking lever and free the hook from its stowed position. Remove the winding handle from its stowed position and wind out the davit head fully. The davit is now ready to be attached to a raft. Release the senhouse slip and remove the securing web strap from the life raft. Remove the pin and open the black flap of the raft to expose the lifting shackle. The next step is to secure the raft ready for launching. Pass the bowsing lines through the bowsing line guides in the direction shown. Tie the bowsing lines off on the gate stanchion yellow cleats with one figure of eight turn. These lines will be used to control the raft through the gate. Only tie off the bowsing lines tightly once the raft is fully inflated. The casing line is then passed over all other lines and led outboard through the gate before being tied to the blue stanchion cleat. This is so that once the raft is inflated, the casing will swing clear of the raft rigging area and the escape ladder. The raft painter remains attached to the hydrostatic release unit and must not be removed. Lift the brake handle and pull on the lifting hook if more slack wire is required for the hook to reach the raft lifting shackle. Insert the shackle into the hook and lift the cocking lever to the safe position to secure the hook to the raft. It is essential that the line to the hook cocking lever is lying over the inboard side of the raft so that the line does not fall between the raft and the ship's side as there is a danger of accidental raft release if this line gets fouled. Pull out the quick inflation line and give it to a crew member to hold. This line is only about four meters long and giving it to a crew member can reduce the risk of weight coming on the line and causing a premature inflation. If necessary, the quick inflation line can be let go before an inflation takes place as the raft can still be inflated by the more conventional method of pulling out the painter which is still attached to the ship. Before continuing, ensure that the davit brake is in the on position and not locked up by the remote lowering line and that the cocking lever on the hook is still locked in the safe position. The raft can now be hoisted clear of the deck by placing the winch handle in the hoist-loaded hook winch and guided outboard using the bowsing lines until it is positioned vertically under the davit head. Raise the raft until the hook is just below the head block so that the raft inflates at deck level. Once the raft is in this position, remove the winch handle from the hoist-loaded hook winch. Pull on the quick inflation line and give it a strong tug to inflate the raft. As mentioned earlier, if this fails or the inflation line has been let go, the painter can be pulled out to its full length and the raft inflated by giving the painter a strong tug.
Secure the entrance to the raft tightly against the ship's side by pulling the bowsing lines tight and securing them to the yellow cleats. To make room for subsequent raft casings, the empty casing can be pulled back on board if necessary and stowed in an empty raft cradle. Inspect the raft to ensure that it is seaworthy, making sure that there are no holes or tears and that the raft has fully inflated before boarding 24 passengers and one crew member. Ensure that passengers are evenly distributed around the raft to balance it and that they have removed all sharp objects from their persons, including any ladies' high heel shoes. Ease the bowsing lines from the cleats and once the raft is clear of the ship's side, remove them and throw them into the raft. Check that the area below the raft is clear before lifting the brake lever, allowing the raft to descend under gravity to the water. When the raft is approximately one metre from the water, the crew member in the raft must reach up and pull on the hook line to arm the hook in preparation for release. When the raft is afloat, the hook will release automatically. The crew member in the raft must then cut the painter as high up as possible using the special knife provided at the raft entrance before moving the raft clear of the ship's side using the paddles provided. To retrieve the hook, push in the spring-loaded handle on the hoist empty hook drum and wind the handle in the direction of the arrow. As the wire comes up, ensure that it lays evenly on the drum to avoid fouling the winch shaft. Stop retrieving the wire when the hook is level with the deck and pull the hook inboard using the tricing line, ready to attach the hook to the next raft. Depending on the circumstances, you may consider enlisting able-bodied passengers to help you to launch subsequent rafts. Once the last raft is loaded with passengers and the last crew member and is ready to lower, cut the bowsing lines and the painter with a special knife provided in the raft from inside the raft. This is important to prevent the raft being hung up by the bowsing lines. Pull firmly on the remote brake release ring which locks up the brake and the raft will descend under gravity at a controlled rate. As before, when the raft is approximately one metre from the water, the crew member must reach out and pull on the hook line to arm the hook, and when the raft is afloat, the hook will release automatically. Remember, the crew member is responsible for the welfare under the guidance of the Survival at Sea Manual for all people in the raft until they are rescued. Replay this video until you are completely familiar with the life raft launching procedure and use it in conjunction with your ship's training manual.